If you clicked on this link, chances are I'm already dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You actually made a great choice because we are going to make a broccoli and spinach stuffed pizza. Not to be confused with a stuffed crust. This entire pizza is going to have a bottom shell and a top shell filled with amazingness. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make some shells, just like we did in the last video. I got them nice and stretched out, ready to go. We're gonna to wanna to steam our spinach and our broccoli. Um, I already cut the broccoli up into little florets, and I got my steamer boiling and ready to go. Get these guys going long enough till they soften up. Got me a handful of spinach. I'm just gonna chop that up. Just give it a rough chop. All right, throw that in the steamer with the broccoli. It only has a steam for about a minute, and the broccoli is almost done. So it's gonna work out perfect. Gonna mince up some garlic real quick. Just two cloves. Now, I have a greased pan. I, I prefer to have bigger sides, but you know what? I'm in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. I gotta make do with what I can get. I think we're gonna do just fine with this. Okay, we got our pizza dough draped over our pan. Ready to go. Ready for the toppings. We got some vegan cream cheese. I have Tofuti brand with me, better than cream cheese it's called. I love it. We're gonna just put chunks scatter it all around, spread it out as much as you can. So this is what we're going for. We're gonna spoon on the sauce next. You wanna spread this sauce nice and even around the whole pizza. We're gonna take our steamed vegetables and we're gonna place it onto the pizza. Just spreading the topping out evenly on top of the sauce. Indy's being a pup. Hey pup. I got some nice fresh chopped garlic we're gonna spread on there too. And some garlic powder, parsley, and oregano. And of course, Daya. Now of course, if you don't have Daya, you can still make this pizza without it and it'll be awesome, but Daya just gives it that extra kick. We got a little bit of mozzarella and a little bit of cheddar. Now we're ready to wrap it up. This top layer has to be very thin, so make sure when you flip it over, it doesn't rip. So after the top shell is on, just push it down around the sides. Make sure there's no sauce on the sides because you're gonna want that dough to be dry so it sticks to the other dough. Now, we're gonna trim the excess dough off and close it up. What you're gonna need is the back of a handle of something. I don't wanna use a knife because I don't wanna cut myself. And you're basically gonna push down on the dough, push away from the pan, and it kinda closes it off for you. Work your way around the pizza dip pan. Don't worry, we're not gonna waste this. We're gonna make it into breadsticks. So I have two tablespoons of olive oil in here with a little bit of sauce. We're gonna mix it up and then brush the pie. This is gonna be so good. I can't wait to eat it. That just about does it. Now we're just gonna put a couple slits in here so it doesn't blow up. This is gonna go into the oven at 430 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. But you gotta keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. I love the bottom of my crust, extra crispy. It's been about 10 minutes. Bottom needs to cook a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is, same thing we did with our last pizza. We're gonna take this out, let it sit on the rack all by itself. Another two minutes, it'll be done. Mac done! Guys, the pizza's ready. This looks delicious, it smells delicious. We're gonna cut it. That's what we were going for right there all along. My friends, I introduced to you the Super Bowl of pizzas. We got a crispy crust and a nice gooey delicious filling. All right guys, it's cool enough, I'm gonna go for it. That's a game changer for a pizza, I'll tell you. You guys are gonna love it. Make sure you guys subscribe to us, like this video, friend us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter. We'll be seeing you around. He is such a pup. He is a pretty.